now we had a short little break. The girls did their thing and we did our thing. So we got a couple drinks down there <laughs> and uh, we're back. Questions we're asking these six lovely panelists is talking about guys. We talked about you want to be treated as a princess. Now you know this freaks dudes out. The guys has no idea what it means to treat you guys like a princess for no money. It means if you're at the grocery store carrying a basket and it's heavy, offer to carry it. That's exactly, it's the simplest yeah. Simple thing. Open the door. Exactly. All right, all right. So, so that's it. So us guys can do that. We can help that out. It doesn't cost money to be a gentleman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But now, can a gentleman date a girl, okay, who has high expectations dollar-wise? Like, how, I can only take you on a walk so often. Then it's going to work pretty thin, right, Tony? You know what? I think there's a difference between a gold digger and someone to match your, I don't know, in income level and your, and your goals, because your goals kind of equal your, your income level. Okay, you now your income level, your goals. So you want to have a house on the bridal path. So you're not going to date your average dude. I mean, I don't think girls specifically, well, I don't know, I'm talking to for myself. I don't think they specifically just date for the income. I mean, like, yeah. if, if you're going to take me out, okay, great. Like, come on, pay for the first day, maybe the second <laughs> day. Let's go Dutch maybe a couple times. I'll pay. Like, that to me is dating. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. I go so. out. This is dating once you get past it. So, I'm, so guys pursuing you. Hey, Tony, I like the way you look. We've talked the whole thing. I like your vibe and everything's really cool. Why is By the way, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, 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 my name's Tony. <laughs> Tony and Tony came in Tony's and he asked you, this is going to date. And, and he says, but we got to go Dutch. Do you go out with him? Is this the first date? First date. First date. First date. Going Dutch. He's dead. Go. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I you ignore your text for a couple days. Yeah. Okay, it depends so. if he's honest. He's honest. If he's, if he's honest, honest and he's like, I need to go Dutch because at this point I want to go out with you, but I can't cover this. Do you still want to go out? I would be like, that's yeah. cool. You're honest. Would you, would you there should be an explanation yeah. behind yeah. it. Yeah. I would go. You go. So it's an old guy. I think it's a yeah. cheaper go? restaurant. Take you to a okay. So you take go. Take me to a cheaper restaurant and, and then cover it. No, no, at least one on. She wants you to cover it still. <laughs> no, okay? I, I, okay. I mean, if you ask somebody to go on a date with you, at least cover it. Yeah, at least cover it. Okay. You're asking someone to go on a date with you, then. Okay, Robin. The guy comes up to you and says, "Let's go Dutch on the first date." What do you say? Okay. okay. So, I'm doing, I'm doing if you have no money and okay. you're asking me out on a first date, take me on a date that costs no money. Don't take me somewhere and make right. me pay okay. half. So, so we go to yeah, the boardwalk, we walk around the boardwalk, I get you a slushy type of thing. McDonald's does that one dollar ice cap thing or whatever it does. And we spend two dollars for walking and we're vibing. We're getting really, really comfortable yeah. over there. I want to see you again. I would if we were vibing after that date, I would probably ask you out and then pay yeah. for it. Okay. You, 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 you're you gonna pay for it? If I ask someone out, I pay for it. Now, do, uh, do you expect uh, expectations from the guy? You know it's only the second date. We don't give it up after the second date. <laughs> you know? Uh, in my experience is <laughs> we don't usually okay. need a second date. Okay, question I have there. Why do you go into a sex store? 80% of the products in there are for women. Why? Hmm, that's actually... Why is 80% of the, the product in, in the sex store is for women? Why? It's just women? Just, they Me. just want to get it done and over with, don't have to deal with no communication afterwards, and just go on with your day. No or maybe... It depends on the woman. I don't I know. Think, like, I she likes spooning, man. I know she likes spooning, man. No, it depends on the woman. I'm the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's just so they can kick the guy out as soon as possible. I think a lot of women have been traumatized, especially in this city when it comes to dating. Because <laughs> um, all of a sudden you call the next day or you make you say, hey, you're going to call me and that, that you're a stalker. So women just rather just do their own thing and just... So the night chest is their own thing. I guess, or, yeah. It's totally different though. It's like, it's so like takes 20 seconds and you're good. And like so that's <laughs> okay. okay, then you go, oh baby, oh baby, I love you. And you just put it, put it away. And it's no, like, you have to deal with no, the rules. You, you don't get to do that guys. stuff, hey, but they you know, just don't need machines. That's, just, that's the point I'm trying to say. Are women, women becoming more like men? Um, I don't think like so. I, said, I, think I think we were, always think were. It was just a hidden different. thing. Okay, was, yeah. Yeah. How many guys can you see and be with and talk to without getting caught? If you knew you would never get caught, I know for you ladies caught who are doing, attached. Wait, what? Todd just dating. be dating with somebody else or just talking, not necessarily well, sleeping I'll with say, somebody. I'll say this because I know the guys I'm dating right now will probably, hopefully, not watch this. <laughs> the guys. <laughs> the guys. 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 Oh oh the guys. So I'm there's two I'm seeing steadily right now. I'm not <laughs> sleeping with any of them, but I'm seeing them steadily and I'm seeing where it goes. I'm wheeling them on, wheeling them on. You're what testing is the water? I'm testing the water. I'm wheeling them what on. What is viewing your options? Go, go, go. Okay. I'll tell you the different personalities. Like they're extremely different. One is an athlete and then the other person is a, a tradesman and uh, the tradesman's very sweet, uh, has money, likes to pay for stuff. The athlete is kind of a d-bag, 
um, <laughs> but him and I we clicked very well. We we spat at each other. Um, it's like so the chemistry between the athlete and I is very very good. But I'm being treated very well by the tradesmen. So it's kind of like I'm lacking in one area. So it's kind of like I'm wheeling them on. I don't know. That's a guy thing. That's a dating. That's a guy thing. Yes. See, guy, yeah. you guys are becoming like dudes. Well, I think See, it's like we like the sensitive, like the connection, but we also like that bad guy too. Yes. So it's like we like both. Like you, for your situation, you probably like both. Yeah. You wish you could take the good from this one and the good and from this one and mix them together. I hear that all the time. Yeah. I hear that all the time. It's like the body the ass guy and the nice guy. True. How important is money? Really, honestly. A guy's going to take you out and all things are equal. Guys look equal and they're the same in personality. One guy wants to take you to Tim Hortons. The next guy wants to take you to Tim Hortons down in Florida. So I find that Miami. in this city, more so than anywhere else, is so prominent. The first thing a guy will try to wheel you with is his money. And that's like... I'm Why do you think that? That's not in this city. This is every city. Yeah. Istanbul, it's man. We're talking about attractive, this. though. Like, but it works, I don't, though, huh? No, not for me. If the first thing that you're approaching me with is your money, then like, you lost See, me. You clearly like, called me gold digger, digger right, right to what, face. What, 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 if that's your best quality, like, if that's what you think I'm after, then Okay, what no if he's thanks. a professional athlete and you know this dude makes some serious cash? Every single guy I was with prior to my current boyfriend right now was a professional athlete. <laughs> and... Canadian Football League or uh, NFL? NHL. <laughs> NHL. Oh, NHL. They're making some bucks in the NHL. Well, no, that's not too bad. <clears throat> All right, so she's it hardcore. It depends on their perspective of money. If they don't have a yeah. healthy outlook of money, then it's just... then. Because you could have a lot of money and just treat it, you know, as if it's nothing, or you can not have any money. It's just, it's, it's, you need a healthy perspective of money. Okay. But you can't be cheap. Okay, because but, but money does help, though, right? <clears throat> money does help. Yeah, of course. We know that money. Of course. We know that. So uh, girls are attracted to money. And some women well, say, well, we want to be looked after, we want to be protected, and we want the stable, being stable, and you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, you, you, can, you can meet a guy that has a lot of money, but he's an absolute asshole. So it's like he's not even getting, yeah. he's not even getting close to the number. Okay, he's, now I'm going to throw something out to girls right here. Okay, a little bit sexual again. Okay. Now, guys are, here's two things that guys, if you ask a guy, what are the two things that guys are looking for in a woman? What are two things that a woman are, is looking for in a guy? And what do you think most guys would say? The two things that guys or girls are looking for in a guy. What do you think most guys will respond to that question? <laughs> Robin, what two, we're speaking from a guy's perspective now, okay? We're yeah. gonna go around. Two things that a guy is looking for in a girl. Well, oh no, hang no, on, no, no, hang on. Yeah. Yes, what are you guys are thinking? What do you think that guys are thinking that you guys are thinking about in terms of what are your priorities in a guy? What do you, what do you think what do they guys think, think, yes, that you guys want? Two things, Robin, what do you think? Maybe be a Karen person. Okay. Honest. You're gonna make a good one. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Um, I think they're probably looking for. They probably think that we're looking for men with money. And what else? And um, we've been slept with a lot of people. Okay. So somebody has low numbers. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So what do you think? Money and big feet. Oh, big feet. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's it. What do you think? I have to agree with her. Money and big feet. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think that guys think that you are looking for? Oh, that I'm looking for. For women in general. I probably say money is a bigger thing. Uh, the second thing is. Big thing too. Well, no. All right, all right, okay, we're with you, okay. Big what are you thing. thinking? Elena, what do you think? I think guys think that we're, into, we're looking for money. Okay, guys in the panel over there, flip it around. Guys in the panel over there, it's gonna be all over there. Marcos, what do you think most girls are looking for? No, Nikos. Nikos, what do you think that most girls are looking for? Uh, yeah, I'd say money and a big dick. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, this one over here. Get a film on this one over here. Do the mohawk over here. Let me flip that around. She said kind of yeah to that, okay? Hang on. Alright. Why? It's very important. Um, on many different levels. Um, the sexual capacity has to be very impactive on many levels. And so, so a big one gets to a lot of levels. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to, you gotta know how to use what you okay. have, that's all. <laughs> Brian, because I went to one time, we went kind of comedy oh, wow. event that she did, and she just slammed the poor DJ, okay? But anyway, okay, she I don't believe it, it's a myth. She don't eat Asian. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, I was hoping she was going to date Asian guys, and maybe we can find out for sure. But we know it's a myth, and give the Asian guy all the props over there. You know who started that rumor? It was the black man. You know what, the black man started the rumor, because all the Asian guys were getting the good jobs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 
so and, 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 and they had to come and, and, and they had to come back and they had to come back and, and fight for something because in black man we know what's the truth what you know we ain't got that for that. so this is our fashion studio 7 magazine with some fantastic panelists and we can see you at our next event Good job, guys. All righty.